we find the same uh, lack of pain tolerance in opioid addicted patients and fibromyalgia patients. In fact, if you look at the symptoms of heroin withdrawal, they are identical to fibromyalgia. There are different terms that are used for fibromyalgia. So no one in heroin withdrawal can think straight, but in fibromyalgia, it's called fibrofog. People in heroin withdrawal have terrible gut symptoms. In fibromyalgia, it tends to be called irritable bowel syndrome. So I've probably given it as a ballpark to a thousand people. So there's nothing like LDN. It's got virtually zero side effects. It's incredibly cheap and it's the most effective thing there is. If it was me, if I had fibromyalgia, I would only take LDN and nothing else. If you go up too fast on the dose, since it's prompting your uh, opioid receptor system to grow, you can feel like it's causing withdrawal. So if you went 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, aiming for 4.5 twice a day, and you started to get nauseous or uh, anxious, you just go back to the dose where it didn't bother you and take your time and you'll eventually get up to the 4.5. The fact that it bothered you, it made you feel like you were in heroin withdrawal is actually a good sign. It means you've got a decimated receptor system and the LDN is likely to at least improve it. So you don't lose faith, you just take your time. So you can experiment around and different patients take different amounts. And what do I care about? I care that the patients do the best they can given that they have a horrible autoimmune disease. So that's why I would tailor the dose to each person. It doesn't make sense to give one size fits all. Patients who are doing good internet research, including going to the LDN Science website, are uh, going back to their practitioners and saying, come on, doctor, why don't we try LDN? It's, it seems to be the best drug out there.